We were talking about the 80-20 rule. I've heard some people say, stick to a healthy diet, eat well most of the time, 80% of the time, and then 20% of the time, you can have some pizza, you can have some McDonald's, or your beloved chocolate. Yeah. What do you think about that? So what I, what I do like about that is that it is a way to quantify for people moderation. This is not about mm. restriction and going overboard and depriving yourself. This is about most of the time and some of the time, right? Because after all, food is how we as humans enjoy and celebrate and it's tradition and it's cultural and that's mm -hmm. what it's about. Mm -hmm. what, what concerns me is when people come in and they refer to cheating or being bad or ashamed or guilty but but i you know i really try and impress on those people that they're you know it doesn't it doesn't need to be seen as guilty or or, or bad or or cheating when you decide to have pizza as long as you've made that conscious decision that you know what i'm i'm gonna have pizza tonight a salad would probably be better but that's not what i feel like and you can feel good and confident about that decision absolutely I just really try and work with people not to vilify good versus bad food. I, I, I love hearing you say that the 80-20 rule quantifies moderation. It, it is kind of a good rule. I mean, how else can we know? I mean, if you're eating pizza three times a day, every day, like too much, too many calories, what do you tell people about moderation? How, how, how do you know if you're eating moderately? Well, it's usually spurred on by a discussion of which foods really bring them joy. But, you know, make sure that whatever foods you are treating yourself with or having every once in a while, make sure that, number one, they truly, truly bring you enjoyment. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I usually tell people that you typically have room once or twice a week to have that food and not to carry around the guilt. How much is too much? I feel like when it starts to encroach on less, uh, less of a every once in a while or special occasion um, and more on um, every day, you Daily. Know, if, if, if you're having pizza three or four times a week, that's not, that's not a special occasion food. Um, if, you're, if, you're having, if you're having pizza once a week or twice a month, that's that's what we're talking about. Yeah. So if it starts to become a daily or even a many times a week habit, that's something that's going to start to work against you. Totally. It's like the exception, not the rule. Exactly. Becoming the daily. I got it.